Hi there, fitness enthusiasts. Welcome back to Muscle Mode. Today we're diving into the world of back exercises, focusing on five essential workouts that'll make your back stronger and more defined. Remember, your engagement fuels our content, so don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more fitness content. This is your journey to a stronger, healthier you, and we're thrilled to be a part of it. Ready to build a stronger back? Then stay tuned. Scene script. First up, we have the single arm dumbbell row. This is a fantastic exercise that targets the muscles in your back, primarily the latissimus dorsi or the lats, but also hits the biceps and shoulders. It's a compound exercise, meaning it works multiple muscle groups at once, offering you more bang for your buck in the gym. Let's break down how to perform this exercise. Start by setting your feet shoulder width apart, holding a dumbbell in one hand. Place your opposite knee and hand on a bench for support, keeping your back flat and your core engaged. Your other foot should be planted firmly on the floor. Now, with your palm facing inwards, pull the dumbbell up towards your chest, keeping your elbow close to your body. Make sure to squeeze those back muscles at the top of the movement. Then, lower the dumbbell back down in a controlled manner. That's one rep. The beauty of the single arm dumbbell row is that it allows you to focus on one side of your body at a time, helping to correct any muscle imbalances you might have. It's also a great exercise for improving your posture and strengthening your core. Now in terms of sets and reps, a good starting point would be three sets of 10 to 12 reps on each side. But remember, everyone's different. So feel free to adjust this according to your fitness level and goals. One key point to keep in mind is the importance of form and control. It's not about how heavy the dumbbell is or how many reps you can do. It's about performing each rep with proper form and really feeling those muscles working. That's where the real gains come from. So there you have it, the single arm dumbbell row, a powerful exercise for building a strong muscular back. Give it a try next time you're in the gym and see how it works for you. Remember, quality over quantity always wins the race. Moving on to our second exercise, the two-arm dumbbell row. This exercise is a fantastic way to target the muscles in your back, specifically the latissimus dorsi, rhomboids, and trapezius. Not to mention it's a great exercise to strengthen your core and improve overall body balance. Here's how to perform the two-arm dumbbell row. Start by standing tall, feet hip-width apart, each hand holding a dumbbell. Hinge forward at your hips, keeping your back flat and knees slightly bent. Let your arms hang down in front of you, palms facing your torso. This is your starting position. Next, pull both dumbbells up towards your chest while keeping your elbows close to your body. Make sure to squeeze your shoulder blades together at the top of the movement. Slowly lower the dumbbells back to the starting position. That's one rep. When it comes to sets and reps, a good starting point would be three sets of 12 reps each. You can adjust this number according to your fitness level and goals. The key here is to maintain proper posture throughout the exercise. Remember, it's not about how heavy the weights are, but how well you execute the movement. Keep your back straight, your core engaged, and avoid rounding your shoulders. This exercise is not only great for building a stronger back, but also for improving your posture and reducing the risk of back pain. Keep that back straight, and you'll feel the burn in no time. Scene script. Next, we dive into the lat pulldowns, Lat pulldowns, a classic move in the world of back exercises. You might see them performed often at the gym, but do you know why they're so popular? Let's break it down. Lat pulldowns are a compound exercise, meaning it works multiple muscle groups at once. The primary muscles targeted are your latissimus dorsi, or lats, which give your back that sought-after V shape. But it doesn't stop there. Your biceps, rhomboids, and infraspinatus muscles also get a good workout, helping to improve both your back strength and posture. Now let's talk about the execution. Start by sitting down at a lat pull-down station and grab the bar with a wide grip. As you pull the bar down towards your chest, remember to keep your back straight and squeeze your shoulder blades together. The real magic happens during the slow, controlled release. This eccentric movement is where your muscles are really put to work, so don't rush it. The recommended sets and reps for lat pull-downs vary depending on your fitness level and goals. But generally, 3 to 5 sets of 8 to 12 reps is a good place to start. But remember, it's not about how much weight you can pull down, but how well you can control it. Quality over quantity always reigns supreme in the kingdom of gains. Pull those lats down and let them know who's boss. Scene script. Let's tackle the classic pull-ups. Pull-ups are the quintessential upper body exercise, a timeless testament to one's strength and control. 
When we talk about pull-ups, we are talking about the full range of motion. A complete pull-up starts with your arms fully extended, pulling your body upwards until your chin is over the bar, then slowly descending back to the starting position. This exercise is a compound movement, meaning it recruits multiple muscle groups simultaneously. The primary muscles working during pull-ups are your latissimus dorsi, or lats, the large wing-shaped muscles on your back. But it doesn't stop there. Your biceps, trapezius, and even your abdominals get in on the action, making this a truly comprehensive back exercise. Now the beauty of pull-ups lies in their simplicity. All you need is a sturdy horizontal bar and the force of gravity. But don't let this simplicity fool you. Pull-ups are challenging and that's where their real power lies. They force your muscles to work against your body weight, resulting in increased strength and muscle growth over time. So how many pull-ups should you do? Aim for 3 to 5 sets of as many reps as you can manage with good form. Remember, it's not about the number of pull-ups you can do, but the quality of each rep that counts. And remember this, pull-ups are as much a mental exercise as a physical one. They require determination, grit, and the will to push through. So, pull yourself up because no one else is going to do it for you. Finally, we have the incline bench dumbbell row. This is an exercise that has proven to be a game changer for many fitness enthusiasts. It's a unique twist on the traditional row, taking advantage of an inclined bench to really target those back muscles. You start by positioning yourself on an inclined bench with a dumbbell in each hand. Your palms should be facing each other and your arms should hang straight down. You then pull the weights up to your sides, keeping your elbows close to your body. The trick here is to squeeze at the top of the movement. This is where you'll feel the extra burn and where the magic really happens. The incline bench dumbbell row targets a variety of muscles. Your mid and upper back are the prime beneficiaries, but your biceps and shoulders also get a good workout. This makes it a fantastic compound exercise to incorporate into your routine. Why should you do this exercise? Well, apart from the muscle building benefits, it also improves your posture. A strong back is crucial for maintaining good posture, and this exercise helps to strengthen all the right muscles. As for the number of sets and reps, it's recommended to start with 3 sets of 10 reps. As you get stronger, you can increase the weight and decrease the reps to around 6 to 8. Remember the key is to maintain form and control throughout the movement. It's not about how much weight you can lift, but how well you can lift it. The incline bench dumbbell row is a powerful tool in your fitness arsenal. It's not just about building a stronger back, but also about improving overall body strength and posture. And remember, it's the squeeze at the top of the movement that makes all the difference. It's that extra effort that brings out the best in your muscles. So give it a try. Feel the burn, embrace the challenge, and watch as your back muscles become more defined and your overall strength improves. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and make every rep count. And there you have it, five back exercises to help you build a stronger, more defined back. From single to two arm dumbbell rows, lat pull downs, pull ups, to the incline bench dumbbell row, each exercise targets specific muscles to enhance your strength and appearance. Remember, it's crucial to listen to your body, adjust your sets and reps as needed. Stay consistent and you'll see results. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a workout with muscle mode. Stay strong.